Did you know that by labeling your kids' belongings with their first name, where a bystander can see it, is actually putting your child at risk? One of the most common tricks a predator will use to gain the trust of your child is to appear familiar and friendly and, of course, approachable. And what better way is there than to call the child by their first name? It's a great trick and it works. Instead of putting your kids' names on their belongings, we're encouraging parents to sit down with their kids and start a craft. Instead of your name, that can be your logo. So let's say you like hearts and stars. You can do a heart, star, heart, star. You know that belongs to you. How about a star? When you put a symbol on your belongings rather than just your initials, it creates this visual cue for your child. So that as they're opening their lunch bag and they see their little heart and three moons, their mind is actually recalling all of this great conversation that you had with them as you're creating the craft. And hopefully, it's that number one rule of never going anywhere with anyone without asking permission first. What else do they use? So please join us and thousands of parents and schools and other child organizations who have committed to your children's safety by stopping the practice of asking for children's names written on their belongings. Every single pledge is automatically entered into a contest to win their very own iPad. And of course, a free You Got Kids app. Join us at www.kidproofsafety.com, click on the No Name Zone page, and make your pledge.